The NTSB has released a preliminary report on that single engine plane crash in an Arvada neighborhood this month. Now the report does not state the cause of the crash, but it does give us more insight into what could have happened on that Friday morning. Denver 7's Veronica Acosta breaks it all down. Nearly three weeks since this plane crash in an Arvada neighborhood, the NTSB has released some of its findings. The three page preliminary report details what happened from the moment the pilot radioed in engine oil pressure problems on the single engine plane. I've got an oil light on, losing pressure. Can I get on the ground, please, sir? It details the examination of the accident site. The 30 foot tree hit by the plane's left wingtip, the contact the plane had with the road, and even the parked truck it hit. The, the pilot knew that he was having engine problems and was not going to be able to make it to an airport and trying to set the airplane down in a safe area. The report mentions the post crash fire that consumed the plane. More importantly, it says the cockpit instruments were destroyed by that fire and could not be evaluated. Uh, and now they're going to look at the internal components of the engine that they have access to and that they can look at in finer detail uh, to try to put the piece of the puzzle together what causes failure. The NTSB also found the propeller blades were rotating at impact, which points to a significant aspect of the investigation. They're showing that the engine did not seize. You know, that propeller is directly connected to the engine. And so if there was a more catastrophic failure of the engine and the engine seized at the time, then the propeller would stop rotating. The NTSB also found the engine case was intact with no holes or pre-impact damage. The oil cap was also on and secure. In Arvada, Veronica Acosta, Denver 7. Now this was just the preliminary report, which means the NTSB hasn't revealed a cause of the crash. That could take up to two years.